So when I first saw that this movie was coming out and I read the synopsis and I saw the trailer and I saw the poster, I thought this movie's going to be an absolute pile of shit. And I liked it. Fuck. Hey there guys, Tom here. Welcome back to my movie channel. Thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new film, Second Act, starring Jennifer Lopez. But before we get into today's review, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and do yourself a favor, ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. Are you looking forward to Second Act? Are you planning on seeing this movie or have you already seen this movie? Whatever your thoughts are, comment down below and let's carry on the discussion as film fans in the comments section right down there. So Second Act is a movie starring Jennifer Lopez and if you've seen the trailers, you know that this movie basically is about her character, a 40 year old woman who works at a retail store and she's sick of working retail. She She's not really happy where she is in her life at the moment and her, I believe her godson creates a fake resume for her and she gets picked up by this company to head up there, the development team and come up with new products and all that stuff. Here's the thing though, this movie is very enjoyable. Uh, it's, it's quite an easy watch. You can just sit there, you don't have to think about it, you can just watch it. You get a couple of laughs out of it. Jennifer Lopez as the lead of this movie. Look, Jennifer Lopez is Jennifer Lopez. Uh, you don't really buy her as this sort of character, it's just you're just watching Jennifer Lopez do her thing and Jennifer Lopez is pretty serviceable in this film. The problem I have with this movie is this movie feels like it's stuck in 1995, like it's trying you know, it's a movie that was made in 2018, but it feels like it belongs in 1995. Uh, the whole movie, even, though, even though to, down to the way that this movie is shot, the way that it visually just looks on screen, and even the way it sounds, it, it, it doesn't sound like a movie that's made, or look like a movie that's made today in 2018 with the quality and the resolution that we have available at us in 2018. As I said, it feels like a movie that's stuck in the year 1995. And the movie certainly does follow quite a generic storyline. Uh, it's not a very groundbreaking story. This movie overall is not breaking anything new ground, or it's not pushing cinema any further than what it is already. But, as I said, this movie is enjoyable. I really had no major qualms with the movie, aside from the fact that it feels like it's from the 90s. Uh, th the movie didn't do anything offensively bad. It, it didn't, it didn't offend my movie going sensibilities. Speaking of offending sensibilities, I feel like this movie's gonna get a lot of hate. People are gonna just rail on this movie and think this movie's garbage, and that's cool. Your opinion is your opinion. If you walk in and see Second Act, and you come out thinking it's a complete bag of shit, I'm not gonna argue with you because, you know, I might be in, in, in the minority here. I, I might be the only guy ever in the history of movies to like this movie. That's fine. I don't care. I've just got to be honest. I enjoyed second act. I'm not saying it's the best film of the year. It's not anywhere near my top 10 movies of the year list, but it's not a bad movie either. I didn't think this movie was horrible. And the movie actually has some pretty decent laughs throughout. Like the humor for the most part is hit and miss, but the jokes that hit well hit really well. And I think this movie has some deeper themes that could have been explored. Uh, there are some themes about, you know, really being who you are and lying and telling the truth and being true to yourself. And this movie definitely could have delved more into the relationships between certain characters, especially with our lead and another character in the movie. But the film didn't really need to do that. It could have, and the movie probably would have been better for it. But as I said, the movie is a very easy watch. It's it's nothing groundbreaking, uh, but I enjoyed Second Act. So anyway, guys, that will do it for this quick review of the brand new Jennifer Lopez movie, Second Act. If you've seen it or if you're planning to see it, comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think about the trailer if, if you, you haven't seen it yet. Go and see the trailer and let's carry on this discussion in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom, and I will see you guys next time.